All right, we're going to take a look at Elena's January 8th, 2014 uh, video. Um, here's our full speed. And again, half speed. Uh, coming up, we'll see 10% with frame by frame and stills. And um, must run in the DNA because uh, a lot of the problems that Simone had, she has the exact same issues. So we're going to watch her upper body here. And she's going to look very much like um, Simone did. You see how her right shoulder is way up, almost touching her ear. Her head is off axis. Um, shoulders are way over rotated on her, on her torso. Um, and again, the head's off, off angle, poor angle. And the, the hands are crossing over the chest, which creates like an east-west movement, which is uh, kind of counterintuitive of going forward. We want everything to be north and south, nothing east and west. So those arms should be, uh, the only good thing I can say is that she keeps her arms in an L shape. Um, we just got way too much upper body movement rotating side to side um, for her to get her hands hip to pocket like they should be. Going forward. Again, uh, I think we take a look at the upper body here, six yards. Uh, again, she's way leaning over her feet way too much. Now there is such thing as a drive phase, which you want to be driving at an angle. However, when you take off standing up, there's not much of a dry phase that usually comes from being in like track blocks or whatever um, so She's pushing her knees down pushing her feet down. It's just a really a poor lean angle um, For her for her to be quick. Um, we need her to stand up tall We want to see the army on her shirt. We want to see her shoulders be square and then her arms rotating uh, side to side on that square axis um, So we need to work on that Going forward Stop her at nine yards, and again, you'll see the shoulders over rotating on the torso, right shoulders way ahead of the left, and then the next frame, left would be way ahead of the right. Um, again, that's that east west movement we talked about. Knee drive again, same as Simone's, too low. We need to drive it up probably another three to four inches to get optimal um, stride phase uh, so she can cover more distance per step. Um, so that's just we need to work on her doing that. Going forward again. We're going to take a look at her at 13 yards, and you'll notice that she's also striking on the heel of her foot, heel and side, rotating through the ball of the foot, What she needs to strike on the ball and push through, kind of like a dolphin has a flipper. It's the same kind of concept for us. Our foot hinges up, and then it strikes and hinges down, and that's what gives us the um, kind of like the propeller motion uh, going through. Uh, her, her, angle, her foot is off angle as well. You can see that the, the small blue line is her angle. The long blue line is um, the correct angle that it, her, should, her foot should be striding on. So what happens is it that creates a lot of torque on the knee and hip um, and then can cause injuries in the future too. So we want to straighten all that out from an injury standpoint as well as a speed standpoint. Going forward on her vertical here, she jumps to 14, which is slightly better than Simone's. Um, her technique is real poor here. We need to teach her how to load up her body and use her body prop, prop, uh, properly. If we taught her just a few techniques here, she'd probably gain a couple inches just off of that. So I hope that her next test that she does, you'll see a, hopefully a big, a big jump, big improvement. Um, standing broad jump, a little bit better, 5'7". Um, and again, like, like I said, these things are very important. Standing broad jump, vertical, very important to being an explosive athlete, um, that five to 10 yard space. D this pr particular thing doesn't have anything to do with soccer, but it has to do with speed and we need speed in soccer. So that's a, an important factor. So we wanna make sure we kind of keep an eye on those, those things. Um, lateral speed is also very important in soccer and we need as much as we can get. She does very, really good here, 17 reps, that's pretty fast. Um, that means that she's got good stamina and she's got good quickness side to side, which is very important. Um, she did very well there. Uh, we're gonna take a look now at her test scores and we'll kind of see where she's at here. Um, again, power is pretty good, 22, 39. Leg squats, wow, 152, um, very strong legs, good balance. Um, plank time was decent. Um, and then again, the 10, 20, 40. We need to see that 10 in the ones. And we need to see that vertical and that standing broad jump come way up so we can get that speed better. Uh, flexibility is also important. We gotta make sure she continues to work on her flexibility. Yeah.